This is Tank's Vlog for April 3rd, 2019, wrapping up the day in sports. The Mets continued their strong start on Tuesday night as they beat the Miami Marlins 6-5. Mets got off to a fast start, scoring five runs in the first inning. But they had to hold on because mismanagement from the bullpen the last few days left them without Jerry's Familia and Edwin Diaz. This cannot happen. Mets got fortunate today. As Justin Wilson got bailed out on a great play by Ahmed Rosario. There's another player. Ahmed Rosario. There's another player. I've seen vast improvement this season so far from Dom Smith. And vast improvement this season from Ahmed Rosario. And I think Ahmed Rosario is being helped immensely by the presence of Robinson Cano. Now, of course, he had a terrible mentor previously in Jose Reyes. You know, there's no doubt Jose Reyes is one of the best players in match history, but Jose Reyes is a piece of shit. There's no other way to describe it. Jose Reyes is a piece of shit. He's one of the best Mets ever. There's no denying it. But beating up his wife, leaving, not, not making payments on child support, just... Terrible. De Jose Reyes was a terrible person. And the Mets gave him so much, so much loyalty, even after he had nothing left. Nothing left. Thank God he is finally gone. Yeah. Meanwhile, the Yankees. Whew. Right now, the Yankees are not playing good baseball. Losing to the Tigers 3-1. to Leaving men on base again. Uh, Aroldis Chapman came in in the ninth inning trying to preserve the tie and gave up two runs. I know the Yankees have their share of injuries, but right now, at 2-3, and three, against two poor teams, not good. The only thing that's fortunate for the Yankees is the Red Sox are off to an even worse start. Losing on Tuesday 1-0 despite a strong start from Chris Sale. He just gave up one run, but the Red Sox just could not get a run across. Losing to the A's 1-0. Is it a World Series hangover? I don't know. All, all we do know is that they, starting the season on the West Coast has not been good for Boston. Bryce Harper made his return to Washington on Tuesday with the Phillies, received a chorus of boos, and then hit a home run, flipping his bat as the Philadelphia Phillies remain the only unbeaten team at 4-0. Meanwhile, Max Scherzer lost his second game of the year, dropping 0-2 as the Nats are 1-3. The Orioles... Did not win a, have not won four in a row on the road since 2016 until today, as they beat the Blue Jays two to one. Toronto traded Kevin Pillar during the day, and went out there and looked flat in a two to one loss. The Milwaukee Brewers continued their strong start, beating the Reds four to three. Tampa, meanwhile, has improved to five and one, as Blake Snell got his first win of the year. Blanking the Rockies 4 to nothing. The Astros had their nine-game winning streak ended in Arlington as the Rangers beat them 6-4. It was the Twins' 5-4 winners in 10 innings over the Royals. The Diamondbacks got two home runs from Zach Grinke to beat the Padres 8-5. It was the Dodgers' 6-5 winners over... The Giants and the Mariners continued their blazing start, beating the Angels 2-1. This is the first time ever the Mariners have been 7-1. Going to the NBA, it was Russell Westbrook making history. Not only did he get a triple-double, he got a triple-20. 20. 20 points. 20 rebounds, 21 assists. Only one other player did that, and that was Wilt Chamberlain in 1968. 
when you're put in the same category as Wilt Chamberlain, you did something right. Again, 20 points, 20 rebounds, 21 assists as OKC beat the Lakers 119-103. to It was the Spurs 117-111 winners over the Hawks. James Harden scored 36 points as the Rockets shot past the Kings 130 to 105. The Warriors, meanwhile, are closing in on home court advantage, beating the Nuggets 116 102. Now have a two game lead and a tiebreaker. NHL, in its final days of the regular season, it was the Predators, 3 2 winners over the Sabres. The Bruins clobbered the Blue Jackets 6 2. The Hurricanes blew apart the Leafs 4 1. La Canadian kept their playoff hopes beating strongly as they beat the Tampa Bay Lightning 4 2. Tampa was trying to set the record for most wins in a season, and that probably won't happen now. But with 60 wins, you got to say it's been one hell of a season for Tampa. The Red Wings beat the Penguins 4 to 1. It was the Wild 5 1 winners over the Jets. The Stars shot past the Flyers, clinching a playoff berth with a 6 2 win. The Avalanche buried the Oilers 6 2. The Canucks doubled up the, sh the Sharks. The Sharks have, are not going in the playoffs with any momentum at all, playing terrible hockey over the last. Three weeks, losing today 4-2. to two. And it was the Kings, 3-1 winners over the Coyotes. And that win almost almost brings an end to the Arizona Coyotes' playoff hopes. Very costly loss indeed. Today's three stars are Russell Westbrook, of course. 20 points, 20 rebounds, 21 assists. What an impressive game. Jack Campbell had 49 saves, allowing one goal for the L.A. Kings in their win over Arizona. And it was Zach Grinke, not his pitching that made him a third star, but his hitting. Two home runs, four RBIs as the Diamondbacks beat the Padres. Today's birthday shout-out goes to the man who took the Flyers to two Stanley Cup championships, Bernie Perrant, who turned 74. And we take a look back to 1989, a game that still pisses me off. Your Seton Hall got screwed by Michigan. How do you call that foul in overtime? How do you call that foul? How do you call that foul? Still pisses me off. Seton Hall deserved a national championship that year. But nope, they had to screw them so Michigan could win. Unbelievable. Of course, Michigan was led by an interim coach after Bill Frieder left for... Arizona State, and Bo Schembecker told him, get the hell out of here. We want a Michigan man coaching our team, not an Arizona State man. Check out the full story of Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. And, of course, don't forget, that was that was that 1989 run to the Final Four. Help put Mike Francesa on the map as he bet Don Imus a Porsche that they would go to the Final Four. Of course, Don Imus never came through with the Porsche, but it helped boost Mike Francesa's career in a major way. So check out the full story at Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Good day.